All right, so Samus DK, game one. Let's see, uh, let's see how this unrolls because um, Samus being a projectile character and DK being the big body that he is, I understand that DK can do a lot. Uh, he can do a lot of getting combo if that's what, if both hits and nair connect. My God. Ooh, yeah, gets a down air to up tilt. Very good, uh, very good little string there landing with a uh, from Daro. Get, gets the uh, the off stage cargo throw into. Oh, unfortunate SD. Oh, that's yeah. That's 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 always a heartbreaker when you see someone <laughs> when you see someone SD, unfortunately, like that. But uh, hopefully, it's uh, hopefully it's not going to be a detriment to Darumit's uh, mental fortitude for the set, because I really think he can he can shoot his shot and uh, and he won't miss. So here we're gonna we're gonna see just uh, Darumit pressing his advantage as much as he can, really. So good job to him for that. Getting DK off stage, I'm surprised he didn't go for the spike. Uh, if he'd gone for it and hit it, it would have been very rewarding for him, I think. Being stock up on DK is always nice, because then yeah, you you control the pace of the match a lot more. He's already up, but uh, having that little extra bonus can't help. So can't, uh, can't hurt. Yeah, tump smash by DK. Uh, just dash dancing into the ledge, creating pressure. Uh, for all the options possible. So good job to Cole for recognizing that uh, that he got that up smash there. Going for the side B now, getting the berry, getting the F smash, that is definitely gonna be a stop. So Cole uh, running the train. Full steam ahead. Uh, I think at some point he lost his his uh, his, his super punch there because um, I think he got grabbed by Samus while doing it. Ooh, unfortunately missing the ding dong, that four percent. Uh, I, I mean, hey, he made it up with an F smash, <laughs> so I don't think it's a big deal. It's 10% 10, 10 from that side beat. That's really good. That's surprising. That does that much damage in the air. Um, so here, just playing, you know, playing their game. Going to ledge. Very, very good air dodge from Cole. Getting past that charge shot. Getting the side beat. Mashing out just in time. Uh, Darmouth does there. Recovers low. Tries to not get uh, too too afraid of what Samus can do, which is good. He's uh he's not he's not being afraid. He's not uh, he's not afraid to throw out his hitboxes because he knows that he has bigger ones than Samus. Oh my goodness! I that was crazy. That was that was a really good side beyond Cole's part. It might have been accidental how how far that thing buried, but um but yeah. To bloom this in the chat, hyping our boy up, hyping uh, hyping Cole up real hard. We. <laughs> so far, uh, that was that was a good game one. Very convincing for Cole. That, uh, UK berries are, are really hard to deal with. I'd say it's a very. <laughs> I think it's one of the hardest berries to get out of at the moment, aside from Roller at high percents. But DK's berry scales very well with percent so when you're at like 80 or 90 and he side bees you so now we're gonna see battle of the heavies battle of the big boys the first villain versus the permanent villain of the mario series <laughs> so uh getting the down throw i don't I, i'm not sure why he didn't go for up throw maybe it's out of muscle memory oh first thought getting Evaporated. Daru uh, taking a very commanding lead here in the first part of the set. Getting Nair to up B. Very good, uh, very good, like, uh, you know, bread and butter combos for Bowser. Landing, anyways. Uh, gets a landing back here. Going for one of probably the laggier moves that Bowser has. Just to land, so. Gets a side B, gets suplexed. DI is that very wrong. He's a big boy. He should be. Oh! Unfortunate on Darmit's part, getting the flamethrower out there. <laughs> Big boy season approaching. Darn right, brother. <laughs> oh, gets two up airs. It's down aired for his troubles, but tries to double jump over. That was just four air. I think got bigger from Smash 4. And even if it didn't, it was already big. But uh, that, that move really good at killing, especially good at edge guarding. Going for the very, very, very uh, hard read F smash, if I've ever seen it, from Cole there. Going for the up landing, gets down thrown for his troubles. He's gonna, he's gonna eat some percent here, that's for sure. 
and gets up smashed through the shell. Very, very opposite of the first game. So here at Ushidaro make, making making a confident game to happen here. I don't know if Cola Cole definitely needs to adjust for the third game. We're gonna see we're gonna see that adjustment on Battlefield. Okay. That's a good, I think it's a good pick for DK since you can cargo throw and you get a lot of follow-ups and land quickly, so you probably probably oh, I heard he's gonna switch. He's playing Falco. Okay. I can also understand this for this battlefield pick for Falco since the higher he can go, the better. And if he can carry you off the top, that's that's really good for him. So uh, gets a drop do drop down laser attempt on the first uh, first thing. Gets down air to up tilt up air. Four, ooh, sixty percent, real quick. Cole racking that up faster than uh, than most characters for sure. Gets four thrown. Does not go for anything to, to edgeguard um, our boy Cole here. I'm, I'm not sure why. He goes for the dash attack. Uh, Darrow, unfortunately, air dodging in and uh, completely avoiding that pressure. But uh, um, here, it's, it's pretty much a, a bit of a slugfest between the two. They're, they're both winning neutral back to back. They're both even percents. And here we. I was gonna. I thought we were gonna see an edge guard. Falco almost dying off the top there. Gets forward aired for. Uh, for trying to land, doesn't air dodge through it, unfortunately, for Cole here. Daro gets uh, his forward air there, landing forward air. We're gonna see if um, if this Falco pick was right. Because I really think, like, uh, I think this would definitely be something doable for Falco. I don't know exactly how doable or how good the character is just yet myself. But gets a down air to up air. Good little, good little string. Gets forward smash, very strong hit. That forward smash is incredibly strong. I've seen a lot of, uh, if you if you hit that at ledge, you can probably kill a lot of heavyweights at 80 for free. Unfortunately, whiffs the punish on that uh, on that rising fortress of B. Or I think it's whirling fortress. I forget the name. Uh, he didn't go for the edge guard on Bowser there, which I'm I'm kind of sad about. Cause yeah, I think he could have hit it fairly easily. Most of his Bowser's up B is uh, very exploitable, very usable, and uh, tries to go for a chain grab. Or a, or a tech chase for the ground. <laughs> Gets down aired, sent up to the platform, and takes eats an up smash on his shield. Very uh, ooh. So here, ooh, landing forward air, good stuff to that. <laughs> Shoots him in the face a couple times, you know, get him off, get him out of here. Forward throws him off stage, yep. So now he's, oh, the up smash beat it. The, yeah, the up tilt is uh, very strong in this game. On him into the blast zone, being a 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, he definitely wants to, to edge guard anything. Oh, I, I would've went up. I think I would've went up with him. Just for the damage. Even if, he, even if, oh, what happened there? Slugging it out. They're just trading hitboxes. Gets the death smash again. Really nice on cold. Recognize when he can land those. Not spamming it too much. And Alright, gets another landing forward air on that on that side there. Ooh, just rolling through the Bowser up air. That was a really good uh really good roll actually. I would have personally shielded it probably. But uh um, gets gets suplexed on the top platform. Good job to Darmouth winning that set. He's very good set on both players' part, but it was it was a it was a slugfest if I've ever seen it, so